Hey, 42 here. Life is full of unbelievable events of great synchronicity. Are there really people who can predict the future? Is there a benevolent force at play? Or is it simply just the law of large numbers? Whatever it is, there's no denying that there have been countless, spookily accurate predictions made throughout history that have come true. Let's take a look at the all-time most amazingly accurate predictions. We start with a woman named Eleanor Shepard, who, in 2013, predicted with 100% accuracy all the winners of the upcoming Golden Globe Awards. PolicyMic is a political and cultural news website and forum that launched in 2011. In January 2013, their culture editor, Eleanor Shepard, was assigned to report on the upcoming Golden Globe Awards. She pulled off an amazing feat of speculation. She accurately predicted which TV programs and films would take home each of the 25 awards. She got all 25 correct. And they weren't no-brainers either. Many of the wins were taken by unexpected nominees. On February the 11th, 2013, a woman tweeted that her boyfriends told her about a dream in which the current Pope, Benedict XVI, resigned and a man named Francesco replaced him. No more than 17 days later, and sure enough, Pope Benedict announced his retirement and Pope Francis took his place. The tweet was in Spanish, but the translation reads, My boyfriend woke me up last night at 4am, saying he had dreamed of a new Pope called Francis I, and that today, Benedict will resign. Also, just as astonishing, in 2010, three years before Pope Francis came into the spotlight, a lawyer named Christopher Connors registered a domain name, PopeFrancis.com. When the press asked him why he registered the domain name, he refused to comment. The American TV comedy Scrubs is probably the last place you would expect to find mind-blowing predictions about the future. But in a 2006 episode, the janitor makes an eerie comment to JD. He said, In my opinion, we should be looking for Bin Laden in Pakistan. Sure enough, five years later, US soldiers found Bin Laden hiding in a heavily guarded house in Pakistan. Mark Twain was an American author, but what many people don't know about him is that he remarkably predicted the internet. In 1898, Mark Twain wrote a short story called From the London Times in 1904. He described an invention called the telectroscope, which used the phone system to create a worldwide network for sharing information, which is basically the internet. Keep in mind that he wrote this when telephones were still very new. It is also written in his story, the daily doings of the globe made visible to everybody and audibly discussable too, by witnesses separated by any number of leagues. Yep, that's right, Mark Twain also predicted social networking. But that's not all that Mark Twain predicted. He also predicted his own death. Halley's Comet is visible from Earth every 75 years. Mark Twain was born in 1835 when Halley's Comet was visible in the sky. And he predicted that he would die the next time Halley's Comet was visible. Sure enough, he died 75 years later in 1910, just as Halley's Comet was visible again. Next up is a man who predicted many of today's modern technologies a hundred years in advance. A relatively unknown civil engineer, John Elfrith Watkins, made a number of predictions in the year 1900 about what the world would be like in the year 2000. He wrote an article in a woman's magazine called Ladies Home Journal, entitled What May Happen in the Next Hundred Years. His article began with the words, 
these prophecies will seem strange, almost impossible. He then proceeded to discuss a handful of future technologies in great detail, most of it was remarkably accurate. Here's some of the things he predicted that came true. Digital colour photography, mobile phones, ready meals, television and tanks. Here's an interesting snippet of what he wrote in his prediction about digital colour photography. Photographs will be telegraphed from any distance. If there be a battle in China a hundred years hence, snapshots of its most striking events will be published in the newspapers an hour later. Photographs will reproduce all of nature's colours. Next up is Robert Heinlein, whom predicted the Cold War, seven years before it started. Heinlein was a scientific fiction author and in 1940 he wrote a short story called Solution Unsatisfactory, in which he depicted a United States that developed a nuclear weapon before the rest of the world, becoming the foremost superpower and igniting a nuclear arms race amongst the rest of the world. It was a perfect description of what happened years later, in the events that led up to the start of the Cold War in 1947. Next up, and on somewhat of a similar note, English writer H.G. Wells predicted the conception of the atomic bomb, 31 years before it was actually invented. Not an easy task when you consider the complexity of such an invention. In H.G. Wells' 1914 novel, The World Set Free, Wells wrote about a city destroying atomic bomb that could explode continuously using the power of radioactivity. Next up, Tanner Hoy, an American psychic who claimed to be able to hear spirits and predict the future. During 1995, Hoy was doing a live radio program in North Carolina when he predicted, on air, a deadly terrorist attack against a federal building in Oklahoma City. 90 minutes later, a bomb was detonated at the Alfred P. Mora Federal Building in downtown Oklahoma City, which killed 168 people. It was, at the time, the worst ever terrorist attack on US soil. In 1949, English novelist George Orwell published his dystopian novel 1984, which talks about people being constantly monitored by closed-circuit security cameras. When the book was first published, people would have quickly dismissed the idea that CCTV cameras and constant surveillance would ever be a reality. But, as we all know, that's not quite how things panned out. We are now watched everywhere we go by CCTV. Just like in George Orwell's classic novel. Ironically, George Orwell's home country, England, is now the world's most watched nation. The United Kingdom has 1% of the world's population, but 20% of its CCTV cameras. That's one camera for every 14 people. In 2010, the Football World Cup was in full swing, and a German octopus named Paul became an unlikely celebrity overnight, when he correctly predicted the winners of 11 upcoming World Cup matches. Paul lived in a tank at an aquarium in Germany. Aquarium staff put two boxes filled with food into his tank, each with the flag of a different country on it whom were competing against each other in an upcoming match. Paul would make his prediction by eating from the box of the winning team. He successfully predicted the outcomes of 11 of 13 games. After the World Cup finished, Paul went on to successfully predict the outcomes of basketball and American football games. Next up is Edgar Case, perhaps one of the most well-known psychics of the 20th century. He earned himself the nickname, The Sleeping Prophet, because he would deliver psychic readings to people and make incredibly accurate predictions, whilst in a self-induced hypnotic state. Case correctly predicted countless future events, but his most notable predictions that came true are, 
he predicted the collapse of the Soviet Union, the stock market crash and the Great Depression, the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler, and last but not least, he predicted the deaths of not one, but two US presidents, Franklin D. Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy. Australian-based Jeffrey R. Palmer is a well-known psychic, whose predictions are somewhat hit and miss, but the handful of correct predictions he has made have been strikingly accurate. Palmer accurately predicted the Indian Ocean volcano eruption of December 26, 2004. He also predicted that Korea was testing nuclear weapons, but his most notable prediction was correctly predicting the 2005 Hurricane Katrina that claimed 1,836 lives. Next up are the freakishly accurate predictions of French novelist Jules Verne. He successfully predicted a whole range of future technologies and events in his writings, such as electric submarines, newscasts and video conferencing, but his most notable prediction was that of the moon landing. In Verne's 1865 novel, From the Earth to the Moon, which was written over a hundred years before America's mission to the moon, Verne described with eerily accurate detail a space mission to the moon. In Verne's story, a manned spaceship was launched from Florida in the month of December. Both of these facts perfectly align with the real mission, over a hundred years later. Verne also managed to predict the name of the Apollo 11 command module, which was named Columbia, and that they would become weightless once they entered space, which he should not have known at the time which he wrote the book. Next up is American author and inventor Ray Kurzweil. He has made several predictions about future technologies over the past decades, and an astonishing 86% of them have come true. Kurzweil predicted the fall of the Soviet Union, computers beating humans at chess by the year 2000, and wireless internet becoming widely available in the 21st century. He also predicted nanotechnology, face recognition software, and ebooks. Kurzweil has also predicted that within 15 years from now, humans will crack the code of immortality, and people's lifespans will start rapidly increasing. And finally, you can't possibly talk about this subject without mentioning the extraordinary Michel de Nostradamus, more commonly known as simply Nostradamus. During the 14th century, Nostradamus published over a thousand predictions for the future, and historians have now deemed that over half of them have come true. He predicted the coming of the three antichrists. In his writings, what he wrote about each antichrist closely matches up to the lives of Napoleon, Hitler and Saddam Hussein. His writings about Adolf Hitler included the lines, Out of the deepest part of the west of Europe, from poor people a young child shall be born, who with his tongue shall seduce many people, his fame shall increase in the eastern kingdom. Hitler was indeed born to poor parents and used his tongue to seduce many people to do his evil bidding. Nostradamus even predicted that Hitler would die alone. Nostradamus also wrote about an event that bears extremely close resemblance to the 9-11 attacks against America. He wrote, The sky will burn at 45 degrees. Fire approaches the great new city. Experts agree that the great new city at 45 degrees can only refer to New York City, which is near 45 degrees latitude. Nostradamus also predicted, among many others, JFK's assassination, the atomic bomb, the French Revolution and the Great Fire of London. Thanks for the view, subscribe for more 42.